Hey guys, what's up? I'm super excited to do, to do today's video because I'm going to be using like one of my favorite, well, I guess, okay, technically two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes for fall. Um, they're, one is a dupe of the other one and I think you're going to enjoy it. They're really comparable and they're both just great palettes. I'm excited to dive in. I know there's probably quite a few videos on these already, but you know, I figured I have both of them. I might as well just do a video of them. So, of them both. I'll probably be do doing one on one eye and one on the other. So, please hit that subscribe button if you would like to see whenever I post a video. Um, oh, well that's when you hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell if you ever when to get notified whenever I post a video. Um, subscribe if you'd like to. Um, I would love to have you as a, a part of my little family here. I've got 24 as of today, so I'm really excited about that. 24 subscribers. I feel I feel like you're on my family, so it means a lot. And um, please hit the like button if you enjoy this, so I know that you're enjoying it. <laughs> Stay tuned if you want to check out these two eyeshadow palettes, okay? Okay, guys. So, today I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Division Palette. Now this is like really perfect for fall. You can do so much with it, um, which is really exciting. I love this. I love, love, love this palette and it's really um, pigmented. And I'm also going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, which is literally exactly the same because I makeup the Makeup Revolution came out with this after um, Anastasia came out with their subculture, subculture palette. So, you know, it's a very, it's a good dupe for this. I got this as a Christmas present from my son. Um, and I'm pretty sure they got it at TJ Maxx for 25. So that's a good deal. Um, but look at those colors. They're perfect for fall. And I'm really, really excited to dive in and create a look with it, you know, um, cause, and I know I'm doing a lot of fall looks, but guys, it's cold. I'm feeling it. You know, it is finally fall. It's almost October. It's almost spooky time, but I am going to do, um, one on one eye and one on the other. <laughs> I'm feeling really goofy. Like I was feeling really tired before I hit play. And now that I'm on here, feeling goofy. So I am, I'm going to use the same, I'm going to use, yeah, okay. So I'm going to use the same eyeshadow primer f for both eyes. It's that rose eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. Excited to dive in. I'm not quite sure exactly what kind of look I'm going to do. It's always funny because I film these and then I have to get my son off the bus and I always, always, the second I'm done filming, rip my lashes off and take my lips the lip color off because I just want to be comfortable when I'm eating lunch or taking a drink or anything. So I look, I must look really cool when the bus comes. The bus driver probably thinks I'm nuts, but you know, it's just the way it goes. Also, I've been using this eyeshadow primer and it's really nice. Um, I'm liking it a lot. I'm going to see how it goes today too. Cause, um, the, wow, look at my hair. <laughs> You know what, this is what you get with me. You don't get like perfect hair, perfect anything. I'm just who I am, guys. <laughs> Love me or hate me, here I am. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna check the price of the Revolution palette just to be like, so I know exactly and I'm not giving you false information, but I'm pretty sure it was like $8. This was, I got this when I got the um, concealer for the first time, their concealer and I love it. Makeup Revolution is a great brand. Let me see here. Okay. Yeah, seven dollars. Seven dollars on Ulta. So here's the thing. These two palettes are they're set up differently. They've got a different setup, but they're the same palette. Minus these two colors down here. These are all in the Makeup Revolution palette, all of them. And, oh, uh, where are they? Right here. These two colors are not, like, so, they're the same. I mean, we're gonna see anyway, okay. 
So Makeup Revolution on this eye and Anastasia on this one. So I guess I'm going to first of all go in with the Makeup Shack brush. I think this is from the travel set. You know, I really should look this stuff up. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one from the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm just going to go right here. I really love the color scheme that they went with on these palettes. I just think they're so cool. Inner. This is almost grungy. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm literally obsessed with it. This is gonna be a very simple look, by the way. I'm not gonna do, just throwing some color down. You know, the pigment is there, which is nice for $7. Makeup Revolution, honestly, they are <laughs> amazing. And I love their collabs and stuff. They always come out with some great, great, great products. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna, so that's with that eye laid down, okay? I really wish I had the same brush, but how about we go in with the brush that comes with the um, Anastasia palette? So I'm gonna go in with the shade Destiny right here on that eye and you can't go wrong with Anastasia eyeshadows this palette had quite a bit of um controversy but I've never had much of an issue with it to be fair like oh that looks darker doesn't it maybe it's just more pigmented oh yeah okay we'll deepen up the other side I think this looks cleaner. I don't know. I am just gonna go back into the Makeup Revolution palette on this shade and see if I can build that up just a little. Just a little bit. Well, I guess we'll take this dark green shade right here. Let's just go for it, right? That dark green shade on that palette. Um, and I'm just going to flip the brush over. Oh, that's not the right brush. brush. I'm just going to flip the Makeup Shack brush right over and take that little tiny, because I'm not going to deepen it a lot. Just enough so you can really get some depth. You know? Oh, she knew me. <laughs> oh, she knew me. <laughs> like, speaking my own language here. Grungy, grungy. So cute. I'm scared that once I go in with <laughs> the Anastasia palette, it's going to be like darker. But that's why we're comparing. So now I'm going to go in with Untamed on the Subculture palette right there. With the other end of the Anastasia brush that comes with this because it's there. Why not, right? <laughs> okay, so it's just exactly like I did on the other side. And Anastasia has beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. And you get the luxury, you know, comparing the two shades. I mean, the two, like you, the packaging, everything. It's, it's obviously more luxurious, but I think the payoff is virtually the same. And it's your money, you know, do what you like. But um, for me, I know it. Ooh, I'm going to do yellow. Yes, okay. So I'm going to take this really pretty mustardy color. Because, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we are. I want to, like, go 
I haven't gone anywhere for pumpkins or anything yet, but yo, next week. Ooh, yes, yellow. That's a pretty one. It is nice. See, I, I really enjoy this palette. I think that it's just a very solid palette if you're looking for fall colors but cannot afford, even if you can't afford, you know, it's a nice palette. with some nice colors. It's like the naked, the naked, there's nothing on this brush. It's a naked brush, okay? So now on the Anastasia side, I'm gonna take a Real Techniques, I used a different Real Techniques brush. It's the same brush, but I have two, so. Um, the Real Techniques um, Deluxe Crease Brush with the shade New Wave on the Anastasia side. Kitty's in the frame. There he is. I was wondering when he would show up. The shades in the Anastasia palette are definitely more rich. I'm just going to take yet again this brush that has nothing on it. It's the same one. So now I'm going to go in the middle. So I'm going to use, we'll see how it goes, but this green, that shimmery. Hi. You can't somewhere. What are you doing? What? All right. What? What? He's a mouthy boy. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. After I went over it with my finger, I think that it made a big difference in the payoff. All right, all right. So now we're gonna check out the other side on the subculture palette. We're gonna try electric, try electric with my other finger. Now, their stuff is always the yeah whoa <laughs> whoa okay you know wow uh, yeah yeah whoops <laughs> that those aren't comparable at all in my opinion I think that Anastasia like knocked it out there damn okay all right hey I get really cold. So um, I just did my I did my brows and my base makeup. So now I'm just gonna finish the eyes. Um, let me show you here. I'm gonna go in with that dark green. This one. Just right up tight to that. Make sure you can like the room. Right up tight to the lash line. I know guys, the longer I sat with this, like, it's just, that shimmer isn't as good, which is sad, but what can you do? Then I'm gonna go in with that, the mustard shade. It is a good mustard shade, it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go into ABH palette. The ABH palette I love. Subculture. Untamed. It's actually been pretty chilly recently, but oh my gosh, the pigment is just a lot better on that one, but that ABH and I'm gonna go in with new wave now but um, like I said you don't have a lot of money and you need you want something that's really similar to this to subculture this uh, makeup revolution one is an excellent option for you because I mean while the shimmer isn't exactly the same basically the rest of it is you know so, I, you, 
You just can't lose, really. What do you think? They're pretty close, honestly. But the shimmer on the subculture side is clearly more pigmented. It's also like a different, like this is more green than this. I think that that looks just more like almost gray and metallic. Or, I don't know. It just looks different. They're, I wouldn't consider those two dupes of each other, the shimmers. Um, even though in pan, this looks like it would be like a, um, a green. It's really not on the lid, so that's, I wouldn't consider that a dupe for the electric shade. I wouldn't, just because it just doesn't come off the same. They're just like totally different. He's cute, why not, right? See how that goes. Ooh, it's like a pinky. I forgot about that. Oh, it's so pretty. Just a little bit. We're not gonna go too heavy on this. You see, yeah, it's like a pink shift to it. It's pretty. I do love this palette. I don't play with it enough because I do enjoy it. Let's see how that one <laughs> um, compares to this one. So, in the pan, I don't know if you can tell, there's a pink shift, but I'm not sure if it'll pop up on my eye. So, we're going to see. No. Nope. Oh, a little. Very slightly. Here. It's quite similar. Okay, I dig it. Nice. So then I'm going to take the um, Lucky 24-7 Urban Decay Glide-On Pencil and put that right under the edge. I love how the cat is just out of frame. Boop. That's like his favorite spot to sleep during the day. This on, the Lash Paradise Mascara, and then I'm gonna put the CoverGirl Peacock Flare on my bottom lashes, and I'll be right back. So I, um, I didn't put lashes on, and I finished my lips because why not, right? So this is the finished look. What do we think? I think other than pretty much the shimmer, you can barely tell, this shimmer. Other than that, and it's a little less pigmented, a little bit. The Makeup Revolution side is a little less pigmented than the Subculture ABH side. So, I mean, honestly, I think it's a really good dupe and I think it's a great perfect palette for fall. It's the perfect palette for fall, guys. I mean, that's the only thing I can say. Um, I think the colors are just super fun. They're different. They're really grungy and like, I don't know. I love them. And, you know, if you're into those types of colors, absolutely. I think that the Makeup Revolution palette is a great dupe. It's $7 on Ulta. I'm not sure how much it is on the website. It's probably the same though on the Makeup Revolution website, but seven bucks. You can't really beat it, guys. Seven dollars is a great deal for this palette. And then, of course, the ABH Subculture palette is a beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. The colors are really cool and fun. This palette is $42 on the ABH website. And you can also get it at, usually, they have it quite often at TJ Maxx for like $25. So you can also get that there, you know, if you really want to. It's 
I mean, in my opinion, either way, but that shimmer though, um, is very pretty. I think that it makes this really worth it, but their shadows are always beautiful and luxurious, really. They're just nice. It's a nice brand, but Makeup Revolution is great as well. So, I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> If you don't have the money, that's what I say. If you don't have a ton of money and you want a, a really solid palette that is has some fun fall colors, this is your guy. If you want to get a really beautiful palette that has lots of fall colors, but also you can use often, you know, with different things and all that, and you're going to use these colors a lot, then go for this, you know? I mean, it's a beautiful palette. Uh, AB, you can't go wrong with ABH. And honestly, you can't really go wrong with Makeup Revolution either. I really like their products as well. So, it's totally up to you. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because I'm curious. I mean, you can't beat that, that shimmer. But honestly, I don't think they're too different. They're a little bit... I mean, you can tell. I, to my, In my opinion, you can tell. But, yeah, I mean... It's still beautiful. It's a good quality. You know, they're just good quality. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to catch you next time. Um, I have some fun stuff coming, so um, have a great day.